I don't think I'm gonna answer any more questions. Oh, I'm just asking you a question. I'm not gonna answer any. Like, do you have any weapons in the car? Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna answer any questions. So you can't tell me if you have anything illegal in the car. I'm not gonna tell you anything at all. You don't think you don't think that sounds a little sketchy? Nope. What's happening? Levi Trumbull here, and let's just jump right into why we are here today. We have a situation that comes out of Providence, Rhode Island, that is nothing short of unusual. And the breakdown is as follows. So late at night, a motorist is pulled over by a police officer, but interestingly enough, the police officer doesn't identify any specific reason why the man was actually pulled over to begin with. The officer starts to get into a game of 20 questions with the driver, and at one point, even makes reference to the man's cigarette, saying that, quote, he wanted to make sure it was just a cigarette that the man was smoking. From here, the driver informs the officer that he will be exercising his right to remain silent and will not answer any questions, which seemingly was the smart thing to do, as the officer appeared to be fishing for something, anything to charge for. However, one of the most concerning moments of this interaction was when the driver surrendered his identity identification to the officer without an established traffic infraction committed. It's a move that perhaps a more experienced person would not have made, but perhaps the driver didn't understand that somebody smoking something other than a cigarette or the belief that that may be the case is not a valid traffic stop reason. So with that said, let's hop right into this video again out of Providence, Rhode Island, and we'll be sure to see you soon. Hello? What you to, bro? How are you? Good, good. No in the back seat, right? No, sir. No? Nothing going on? What you up to tonight? Just driving down a public road. What'd you say? I'm just driving down a public road. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nope. I was just, I thought, I thought you were, I, I, want, I want, just wanted to make sure it was just a cigarette, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, just a cigarette. Just a cigarette? That's me. Right. I don't do nothing but cigarettes. No? Alright. Nothing crazy in the car, right? I don't think I'm gonna answer any more questions. Oh, I'm just asking you a question. I'm not gonna answer any. Sorry. Oh, I'm just asking you. It's a, it's a safety thing, you know what I mean? No, like, do you have any weapons in the car? I don't really see why that would be a concern. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna answer any questions. It's sorry, sorry. question, man. I understand that. So, you can't tell me if you have anything illegal in the car? I'm not going to tell you anything at all. Okay. But do you see how that now that looks? No, I don't. Um, you don't think you don't think that sounds a little sketchy? Nope. No. Three forty-three. I mean, you're you're welcome to inspect my car visibly, whatever you can see. But I have a Fourth Amendment right to my privacy, and I have a Fifth Amendment right to not say anything. So. Well, I'm just. I'm just checking, bro. I mean, it's just, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I hear you. I asked you if there's anything crazy in the car, and then you said, I wish not. It's well, these questions. I'd like to ask you, what have I been pulled over for? I was just making sure you're just smoking a cigarette, and it wasn't weed. Yeah, I said, do you mind if I ask? I don't want to pitch your foot or anything. Um, so, but yeah, just a cigarette. All set. So you wouldn't consent to a search of the vehicle? No, sir. You got ID on you? Uh, have I been pulled over for like a, a legal reason? I mean, I don't feel like I have to give ID unless I've been suspected of committing a crime, really. I mean, you're in, right now you're technically in police custody. You, Am I being detained? Not being detained, no, but you can, you're still required to give your ID. Oh, well, you can have my ID. I mean, are you asking for it? or? Yeah, if you don't mind. Sure. I mean, it's the same as the plate. You can... Oh, crap. There you go. You don't got any warrants or anything like that, right? Not that I know of, sir. There you go. Have you ever been locked up? Uh, I'm not going to answer any more questions at this point. Sorry. I mean, I'm going to find out in a second anyway. Sure, go ahead. You can find out whatever you want. Thank you. Hey, man, where do you live? Uh, I think it says it on my license, actually. You live in Massachusetts? Yeah, I'm, my plates are registered in Mass, I think, so. No, no, but you live in Massachusetts, though? Uh, I'm not going to answer questions, sorry. All right, well, you, I mean, this is, a, this is a high crime area, and, and my partner is seeing you idling over here. You don't live here, so, I mean, what's the point of you being here idling in the car? 
I mean, I have seen you circling around this area for quite some time. It just kind of seems weird. Now I have to talk to two police officers from two different directions. Right. Is this... Which one would you rather talk to? Some sort of tactic? I mean, it's not really a tactic, but which one would you rather talk to? Well, I'm not going to talk to either one of you, so... You're talking to me right now? I am. I'm not going to answer your questions, though. Okay. So... I mean, it, that's, Thanks. It, I ju that's just the weird part. You know what I mean? Do you have family here? Any friends? Am I trespassing or doing something illegal right now? No, uh, but I mean, are you just saying a lot of No, answers. okay, well, I mean, am, am I being detained for some lawful reason? He's or asking is, you a pretty reasonable question. Is this just like a fishing expedition to see if I have committed some crime or if I have some sort of violation? I mean, if I got pulled over and a cop was asking me these questions and I wasn't doing anything wrong, I wouldn't be responding like the way you are. Oh, well, um, sir, I, I feel bad for you. Do you? I do. How come? You took an oath to uphold the Constitution, and you should stand behind every single right. For it's military? just general conversation. Him asking you if you have family around here is just general conversation. I'm not looking to get into a conversation right now, so. Okay. So. For the military? Sir? I'm not going to answer any questions, sir. We're trying to have a conversation, to be honest. I hear. I'm sure you gentlemen have much bigger things going on in the city of Providence tonight, so I'm just going to... I'm trying to, you know, prevent much bigger things in the city of Providence tonight, you know what I mean? Sure, well, I mean, I don't really think you guys can ascertain that there's anything big going on here. Just making no, sure. but like I said, you know... Did my license come back clean? High crime I'll area. Thanks. High crime neighborhood. You're from Massachusetts. Idling in a high crime area neighborhood. You know who brings most of the trouble into Providence? People from Massachusetts. Was I idling? I mean, you're idling right now, so I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you were. You know? I, I'm idling because you pulled me over. Someone pulled moving? me over. That's why I'm idling oh, right you're here. Moving? <laughs> well, we just did so. Okay. All right, buddy. Have a good night. You too. Thanks, guys.